you get nervous, you get anxious, you don't know what to say. It gives you, you know, you get really tense when you get on these calls and you're having to chase and follow up with client or prospects all the time. If that's you, watch this video all the way through. It's absolutely going to help you. This is a video I wish I would have seen when I started my business. And if you are a coach or a trainer looking to grow your business, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We have at this point, I believe over 415 YouTube videos. We have 250 or 260 different podcasts. Uh, we're interviewing coaches all the time that are really successful. This is the channel for you if you want to grow your business. So make sure to hit subscribe so you're updated with all the new videos that we post. Now, with that being said, let's go into the meat and potatoes here. All right. So what do you do on these calls? How do you become more confident? How do you know what to say? Um, how do you start closing more deals? Well, first, what we need to do is we need to approach these calls like something that's very important, all right? And let me show you two examples. Example number one, I could be eating dinner with my wife tonight and I hear my phone go off. It's in the other room, all right? We hear it ringing. I go chase down my phone, I pick up and it's a prospect and I have food in my mouth. I'm trying to figure out should I take this call or not, but I it's too late because I just answered the phone and now I'm very caught off guard. Right? When that happens, and I will tell you, coaches and trainers, a very high percentage of coaches and trainers do what I'm talking about. They get on unprepared calls. Now, if this was uh, like actually prepped way before the call, my call is scheduled. I'm scheduling the call with the prospect. I'm calling them at the exact time that I say I'm going to call them. If I have a 2 p.m. call, I'm going to be dialing at 2 p.m. and I'm calling them and I've already scheduled it. All right, so you need to take it serious. That's number one, all right? Number two, right when the prospect picks up the call, one of the first things that you should be doing is say their name, all right? We should know their name because they've already filled out a form either on our website or our application page stating what their name is, all right? So we already have that information but we should state their name and you should state their name many times throughout the call. That shows them that you are giving them the attention. All right. The next thing on the call, you need to be excited. You can't just be like, Hey, how's it going? I hope you're doing good today. You can't just be all monotone on these calls. You need to be excited. They are raising their hands saying they want their child to train with you. So you better be excited, right? And if it's not scheduled, it's gonna be hard to be excited when you have like spaghetti in your mouth when you're eating dinner, <laughs> right? Can't do that. That's why it's gotta be scheduled, all right? Gotta set the tone, state their name, be excited. Then we need to move into the actual call here. So let's start off by framing the call. And what do I mean by that? Well, that means right when you get on the call, you establish, all right? their name. You've already clearly done that. All right. You establish your excitement level. All right. And then we frame the call. And what I mean by that is very simple. That means one of the first things that we say is, Ms. Jones, are you free for the next 20 to 30 minutes? Now, when you do that, you are telling Ms. Jones, who's the prospect, hey, this call is going to take 20 to 30 minutes. And I know it's going to take that long because I'm in control of the call. That's one thing that you should be doing every single time. Now, your calls might not take 20 to 30 minutes, but you need to frame the amount of time that it's going to take so the prospect has an expectation level that this is serious, this is going to take time, right? And the more you do that on these calls, the easier it is because that dictates who's in charge of the call. Whoever does that always dictates that, right? You dictate the pace of the call from the very beginning when you say how long this is going to take, all right? Then from there, we need to have questions. You can't just go into the call and sell your program. That's not how you're going to make more sales. That's not how you're gonna close more clients. You need to have pre-qualification questions. And I know if you like actually wanna take it to the next level with that, 
You should use our script that's inside of our coaching program. I mean, I can just tell you from the last 12 months, all right, the last 12 months, that script that we have, all right, I'm not going to say it's the best script in the world, but that script has generated multiple millions of dollars from coaches that are in our program over the last 12 months, all right? So it works. And that script pre-qualifies parents, prospects to become clients, period. There's, it's not fancy. We have specific questions that we ask, all right? But you need to be able to pre-qualify your prospects to becoming clients. And this means that you do very little talking. You ask a question, let them talk. And what I've noticed is on these sales calls, the less I talk, the less you talk, the better the call goes. If you're just yapping away about where you played college basketball, or where you played college soccer, or how good you were when you were younger, no one cares about that. Your prospect does not care about you. They care if you can help them. Can you solve their problem? Yes or no? If you can't, and you're just talking about yourself, that's really a waste of their time. If you start asking them questions that are directed towards them, and in this case, it'd be their child, and we start honing in on why do they struggle, we start talking about that in these calls. Now you're getting your prospect to open up and share why they need your help, right? Then when you get towards the end of the call, this is where organization and knowing your product is just very key, right? When you get to the end of the call, you want to be able to present the right type of program for them. And because you ask the right questions, what you're doing is you're ultimately you're becoming the doctor. And the doctor is going to prescribe the right medicine. And what you're going to do is, as a trainer, you're going to prescribe the right program based on what they need help with. All right? And with that, then you're going to have options. And you should have all of these options in front of you. This way you're not fumbling around. You're clear on your price. You're clear on what the commitment level is. You're clear on what your expectations of them are. They're, they're clear of everything by this point. And once you get there, then you clearly lay out the investment options that they choose from. And from there, they choose one of the options or they choose not to join at all. All right, it's very simple. What I've seen, and this is very important that you know this, the best closers that I've been able to work with over the past uh, five years, since I've been coaching coaches with their business, they're about 20 to 35% in their closing ratio. So that means that they talk to five prospects today, they're absolutely gonna be closing at least one of those, right? At least one of those. But those are clients that are committing to six to 12 month contracts. These are, these are clients that are investing around three to $10,000 in an annual program. All right, so that's a lot. So imagine talking to every five prospects you talk to, you're closing at least one and they're paying a lot more for your service. That's what I feel very confident I can help you with, all right? But there's other things that you need to be doing on this call. And here's one of them. You need to always use the word commitment. That is something, like if you want like really committed clients, you need to ask them, how committed is your child? If I were to have them do anything outside of our session, would they be committed to do it, Miss Jones? Like, are you using that word? Are you using that word at the end of the call? And why would I tell you use that word? Well, it's very simple. I pretty much just explained it. When you want someone to commit to your program, you need to find out how committed they are. If they're not committed, why would we offer them to be a part of your program that's a six, 12 month commitment? That's just not gonna work flat out, All right? So you need to start using that word all the time. So if you're watching this and you know you're struggling with sales, here's what I'm doing. And this is only associated with this video, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be setting up 10 to 15 minute calls. And these are sales coaching calls, all right? And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna walk through with you. All right, what's your offer? How do you have this set up? 
How are you selling it? And I'm going to give you some tips and these are free. There's no strings attached here. And what I want to do is I want to show you how you can draw in more committed clients, but we're going to look at what your process is right now so I can show you what the tweaks are. And if you want to jump on one of these calls, it's very specific. All right. Give you two steps here. First, I want you to text me at this phone number. It's going to pop up up here. You text me there and I want you to text me with the word sales calls. This way I know what this is about. And when you do that, within 24 hours, we will jump on a quick call, 10 to 15 minutes, and I'll show you some of the gaps. And when we go through these gaps, you're going to be able to charge more. You're going to be able to draw more committed clients. And I feel very confident when you implement those things, you're going to want to work with me on a deeper level in the future because I know straight up these tactics, these strategies will help you grow your business. So that's it. Make sure to send me a text 210-960-5771. We'll hop on a quick call and we're going to look at your sales process. That's it for today's video. I'll see you later.